just got back. Well, not just. Maybe like two days ago, I got back from spring break vacation. I did vlog a little bit, so I'm going to show you some of the things that we did. We had a good time. We had a good time. Um, got a chance to pamper myself a little bit. Did like a little facial moment. Um, did like a massage. Just I honestly tried to relax. But we had a good time and I'm happy to be back. And Came back on Monday. Today's Wednesday. Took Tuesday off to just be home and be lazy. Still, I'm still need to unpack the bags and stuff like that. But I'm in no rush. But I'm going to go out for a little bit because I have to return some stuff that I overpurchased for my client. So I'm going to go to home, home sense and see what's in there. So I want to take you guys with me. So in today's video, you're going to see this is again a little bit of a vlog. And I'm trying to get my get the house ready for spring. It's almost done. You know, I'm trying not to buy stuff for every season. So I really want to get, I'm thinking what I really want to get, you know really smart things honestly maybe some flowers fresh flowers um because we decide to pick up the carpets in the bedroom and put a hard for us sooner than later and then we have to do some work outside so my quote-unquote free money is not tied up in these larger projects so i'm going to do that but this is what i'm wearing today this beautiful strike um a zebra sprint skirt from Zara with a little slit. I have on these, these Hermes slides and a um, little tank top and just some little jewelry and stuff. It's time for my hair to redo, but that's that. Something I'm working on is just trying to be more presentable when I'm home or when I go to the store because I'm black. Sometimes I just like just run in. But I'm really trying to be more intentional about how I carry myself because I don't know. I feel like I've gained a little weight and sometimes with that weight gain messes with my mind a little bit. So I'm trying to be very intentional about how I present myself. Not just to you guys, but just how I present myself all the time because you never know who you might see and who you might run into. So let's go. All right, bye. Um, so I'm switching bags. This bag I carried... I travel with now it's like some spring summer time I'm gonna carry this bag today it's a white bag but I know but I want to carry today so I'm gonna carry it and I'm just gonna make sure I have everything that I need in my wallet My sweet friend got me this beautiful Chanel um, compact mirror. All that guys, so you open it. So pretty. Why not? Oh, and I did get my nails done for my trip. All right, guys. I do like this set right here. This is very pretty. Um, Martha Stewart. How much is it? Right, this is pretty. And it comes with the, um, the footrest. That's very pretty. Uh, and these are pretty too. Oh my, and the swivel. These are very pretty. These are pretty. How much is it? Oh my goodness, this is at Rachel. Rachel Zoe or Zoe. That's pretty. Oh, it comes together with this. That's nice. I like here's the price. It's like $300. Hmm. $700. That's nice. Oh.
Wow. These are fun. These are fun for like an accident. Oh, look at this. This is pretty. It's very light though. That's pretty. So I just don't know. Oh, I bought some of these for my client. Very, very pretty. To put into her wine thing. These are very pretty. I did like a mixture of different color. This one, did I think I did silver. Very pretty. I don't know. I feel like I'm going to have something this summer. We see. Um, I also bought this faux tree and put it in the entryway. It was 179 but what I did was I bought a different pot for the pot more. And also the pot here. Yeah. These are okay. Home, okay. Home Sense have it today for the outdoor space. This is nice. I love this. And it come with the glass on top already. It, it's like a um, wicker finish, but it's very nice. Look at the handles. Oh, wow. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I wish. If I didn't have so much club today, I would buy it. I have a lot of stuff on my list. And it is, um, it's very nice. Very, very nice. Nice. That's nice. And that is $300. I like this. I'm enjoying just a little bit of color into my home or, or into my projects. Look at this. Pretty. Stunning. Listen, don't allow social media to dictate to dictate how you move, how you shop. One. If I had somewhere to put this joint, I would get both. It's really, really beautiful. Not my vibe, but maybe the one behind my bed. It's not, but it's too dull. I'll put it's not choppable. This is fourteen dollars for two. So this is not bad. I do like the color. They have to. Okay, so now I'm literally getting um, four for the price of one. I think, oh, should I get matching pillows though for all the chairs? I'll be back. I like this. This will be pretty on top of like a book. I'm really drawn to like things that look artsy. This is nice. I could represent JB and I. That's very nice in a book. I like that. Um, not a fan of snakes, so that's a no. This is also nice. I love these. Those are nice. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. Um, so just try to look for unique things. Because sometimes these things can be a hot mess. Oh, let me show you what else. Let me see what else. Like, I like this, but in my mind, I would like to put this on a wall. This would be nice. Hold on. Like, this would be nice on a wall like this like an art piece that's pretty i'm thinking where could i put it yeah this should be nice on a wall i like that that'd be creative see these are the outdoor pillars i have but they're so mm, you know this is soft to lay on. These are not. What I want. 
for today got this at the top from target my necklace christian dior this from the thrift store zara i'm out of the bag from tj maxx and this scarf from zara and i have on my these denim slides good for time denim um are these dad sandals not quite sure that's it okay bye day one of our vacation in florida at the henderson beach resort Go ahead. You're in Florida right now, guys. What's up? Having a good time? Yes, sir. See you, sir. Yes, ma'am. Who you calling him, man? Better go back to the resort and do some stuff. I don't know. We just we just came to this place called Camille. Um, we had a pizza. It was really really good. Um, the drink, which Jackson don't know, it's really really good. I just got two more. I'm gonna head back to. The resort and we're sitting at the Henderson um beach resort. Okay, check back in with y'all later. We're gonna walk that way back. How long we walk for no trip? Almost five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, eight? Eight? I'm at, this is my second drink though, but not even half. I got JB. Never come fruit juice. Bye y'all! <laughs> Oh, good job. You're too close. You're too close. You gotta be at the edge. There. We're sitting here. <laughs> We're sitting here watching Jackson um, play a little game. It's very beautiful, isn't it? It is. Yeah. But it's um. Are you beautiful or the game is beautiful? It's not a lot of us here, but it's still. <laughs> it's, still <laughs> it's still beautiful though. Still At beautiful. first, I was like, mm. Mm. but after two cocktails, she good. I'm <laughs> good. She good. <laughs> Just at the spa and got facial and a massage. And I'm in for JB. And if y'all don't know, my son Jackson is one of his favorite places to go to wherever we go. It's the Waffle House. And they just they went without me. And now they're coming back so I can go and get me a good waffle or two and some crispy bacon. And this is the back of the, not the back, it's the front of the resort. It's called the Henderson, the Henderson Resort. Why am I so greasy? But my skin feels so good. It feels so good. This place is really, really beautiful. It used to be a part of the salamander um, um, list of hotels, but it's no longer. It's now uh, independent, it's independent of the salamander, but it's, really 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 beautiful we're having a good time here it's not gonna lie guys a splurge but i just really feel like when you you work hard so you can play hard okay and just live the best the best life possible for yourself and your family um it's a little bit chilly so we're gonna we found this outlet mall this luxury outlet mall we're gonna go so we're gonna go and do a little bit of shopping and then um, come back. We have dinner reservation here at the, there's a beautiful restaurant on site. So we're gonna do that. We're trying to come out of the sun a little bit. But it, remi it reminds me a little bit of Jamaica, just the way the entire vibe is, the sun. I think when you leave your home state and go somewhere else, everything just feel a little bit different. So, gosh, JB, where are you? Oh, look at her. Look at my husband and Jack. <laughs> Y'all need to stop. <laughs> this man rent this car and it's crazy. Okay. All right. I'll check back out in a little bit. Okay. Bye.
the video watching now I had to pop this in because I realized I did not tell you guys why on vacation we were looking at recreational vehicles right RVs for lack of better words so Jackson plays baseball not just baseball but travel baseball if y'all know anything about travel baseball it is very very expensive no it can be very expensive depends on how much your child your child's team travel and um just for last year alone since he started doing travel baseball we spent a lot of money on hotel um food just everything right so seeing that he loves the sport he's committed to it that's his thing we're thinking about okay was in florida and there was an rv show and went there and i've never been into a rv never and i was honestly totally utterly in awe of how beautiful some of them can be depending on your price point you know um so that's why we're looking because if we're able to get one and i would want one brand new if we're able to get one it would save us the money that we use to pay for hotel and all the different things, toll everything. Not necessarily like I got paid for anyway. You know, hotel, food, and everything. We could just use that as an RV payment because depending on the one that we pick, if we choose to go that direction, it could honestly be like a a night per at a hotel. You know what I mean? So that's why we're looking at it. Of course, it wouldn't be like I think the big ones are called like bus because. You can just drive them or really thinking about getting one that we can pull if we get the one that we can pull we have to get a jib in the market i'm looking for a vehicle so we have to get maybe like a truck that can pull that kind of weight and it's going to be safe so we're just looking at both options but that's why we looked at the recreational vehicle because i just i just think it would be best now i cannot drive a rv i barely can drive a regular car so jb gotta also keep in mind that if we do decide to get one he's gonna be the one driving it or quote unquote pulling it because i'm not pulling nothing okay and that's that that is said from the get-go so i'm like let's think hard about this because i'm not driving it excuse me so i want to explain that to you but man if you guys have never been to been in one like a nice one find an rv park where they sell them is that what kind of rv park and um check them out an rv dealership amazing these things we saw one that is priced at almost half a million dollars i was like good gosh that's a, that's a house but the the rep told us that most of the time especially in florida <clears throat> anyone who invests in an RV like this for that kind of price point that is their home they just want to travel the travel the US and see things and just honestly live that way you, you know or if you're going on tour <laughs> well, dang. but I just want to add this in there so you guys can see it and that is why so enjoy the rest of the video don't forget to comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>